Hello and welcome back. This is tutorial four. Um, okay, yeah, we're talking about HTML, um, and the last um, tutorial uh, we talked about using the H1 uh, heading tag and the horizontal rule, drawing a line uh, tag, the field set, legend, paragraph, italic, whoops, italic, bold tag, underlined. Let's zoom in a little bit with this the underlined um, and text the break tag as in the break tag let's get that again and then closing the tags um, systematically uh, as well okay we haven't um, looked at this tag yet but I'm going to show you what it does let's just say this again okay this is what I've just made as you can see look Thorn web design free tutorials Thorn web design offers free tutorials Thorn web design offers free tutorials and we've got the title Thorn web design free tutorials okay and then we've got the field set here and then this is the legends okay and then what can Thorn photo and design offer now what can Thorn photo and design offer is a, a title so now we want it to be on its own line basically we don't want this text to be straight after here so what can we do to put it onto a new line well there's a couple of options really we can use a break tag here or we could make this say an h3 tag so let's go to here so we've got a bold already now I want it underlined as well so if we get rid of this bold because an, a heading tag an h3 tag is by default um, bold already so let's open the h3 up and close the h3 which will automatically break to a new line automatically make it bold and automatically make it bigger or there we go see so it now makes a nice subheading so you can find a use for the h3 tags um, and you can also put this with inside the legend so if we took this out I have not tried this before but um, I'm pretty sure it works so we put it inside the legends and it doesn't work so uh, I'm pretty sure that you can't put um, h3 tags or h tags with inside um, legends okay well you can't so this is a legend but I don't tend to use legends um, but anyway okay so next thing is this here was the if you see click here to visit my sites all right and so we click here that takes to my um, photography and website um, company um, so basically uh, uh, let's show you how, the, how this is done all right now let's delete it completely so we can start from scratch now there's an anchor tag um, which uh, the anchor tag um, it's kind of it, it puts a position like a kind of nail with inside the HTML page at a certain point and it lets you uh, navigate to this point or it lets you navigate to an external um, point so let's open the tag up first and this A and uh, this needs to be closed as well so let's uh, close it now we talked about attributes or properties the HTML they're called attributes um, with inside the opening anchor tag we need to tell it where it's going and the way we tell it where it's going is by saying href okay and we say equals and um, two apostrophes or quotation marks and with inside this we now need to give it um, a URL a URL of where it's uh, going to be going to now for external URLs we need to use the full address so HTTP so we need to use the protocol um, and then the the host which is thorn-design.de okay and then um, we've got another attribute as well which is targets okay which needs to have the equal sign as well and the target is whether we want um, let's go back to here as you can see when I click this one it goes in the same page and we lose 
the other page. Okay. Now, if what we wanted it to open a new tab up, all right. So what we would do is um, go. Whoops, don't need that. That's another la um, scripture language. We go blank. So let's save this out. Go back to here. Let's refresh this. Ah, okay. Okay. What what's wrong is we didn't enter the text for it to display. With inside the anchor point, we need to say here. Click here to visit my sites. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, so this is the text that you will click on to um, to move to the next site. So it's saved. Let's go here and click on here, and this will open up a new window. Okay, or a new tab, should I say? All right, there we go. See. Now, if we want it to basically stay on the same page the target just stays blank let's refresh it and it just comes on here well there's also um, top which means the same as black uh, nothing basically it's this this here means top as well okay um, and self means the same thing okay so the best thing to, to do, if it's an external link to someone else, another person's website, then use blank every single time. You do not want a, a linked site going to your own web page. So uh, remember, if it's an external site, then it goes to blank, target equals blank. If it's an internal site, um, then you don't need to declare the targets. Okay. Uh, that's about it for this lesson. Uh, what we'll actually do quickly is we'll go over the image and I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, we're going to link it to a, an external picture. I'm going to go over this properly in the next, the next lesson. address there we go okay now that's an image here okay and what we can do is we can cut that anchor tag here put it down here save it come up to here and we actually link this photo now to my website and the photo that we took was here that's a slight error with this picture uh, yeah so that's um, what we've done is we've we've taken this picture from my my other website and put it onto our web page is what which is what we can do okay well that's enough for this tutorial we talked about the um, the anchor tag uh, linking it to other websites so we have the opening anchor tag the text that is going to be linked and the closing of the anchor tag Okay. Um, the next tutorial will go over it in a lot more depth with the the anchor tags and the image tags together. Okay. Thank you very much for watching and uh, check out my sites www.thornwebdesign.de. My name is David Thorn and thank you very much. Goodbye.